In this video, we will be recapping some fundamental maths knowledge that you may already have about means, medians and modes, but more importantly, we will be giving you the crucial tips in how to speed up finding such values from those dense tables that the UCAT loves. Our objectives for this video are to recap how to calculate means, medians and modes, and show you how to quickly calculate such values from graphical or table-based datasets. To calculate a mean, simply add up all of the elements of a set and then divide by the number of elements of that set. For example, let's refer to the following table. The answer is D. To find the mean number of regular users of the ultra-fit brand of gyms across the five towns A to E, simply add up 65, 45, 33, 121 and 76 to get 340. Now divide by 5, as there were 5 numbers we were adding together, 340 divided by 5 is 68. Next, to calculate a median, things get a little bit more interesting. You must first put the numbers in a set in ascending order from smallest to biggest and then find the middle term. The middle term can always be counted by adding one of the numbers of the terms and then dividing the answer by two. For example, in a list of seven terms, the middle term will be seven plus one, which equals eight, then eight divided by two equals four. The fourth term. In a list full of odd numbers of terms, for example, three terms, seven terms, 19 terms, and so on, there will be a single straightforward middle term. In a list with an even number of terms, for example, four terms, 10 terms, etc., the middle term will always be halfway between two other terms. Again, this can be shown by adding one to the number of terms and then dividing the answer by two. For example, in a list of 10 terms, the middle term will be 10 plus one, which equals 11. 11 divided by two equals 5.5, halfway between the fifth and the sixth terms. This sounds okay until you are presented with a dense table full of information. Isn't it a big waste of time to write out all the terms in order? Yes. Instead, Calculate what the middle term would be using the add one and divide by two methods shown above. The answer is A, Power Gym. Don't waste time writing out the five terms in Townley's row in order. If we want to add one to five and then divide the answer by two, we get three. The third term is the medium. You can find this third smallest term by mentally assessing the terms in Townley's row. 95 is the smallest term in the row, 105 is the second smallest term, and 115 is the third smallest. And the third biggest is the same thing with medians. The 115 is for Power Gym. And so Power Gym has the median number of users for town D. Lastly, and most simply, is finding the mode or modal term. Some students don't know that the word modal just means mode. To find the mode of a set, find the value that appears the most frequently. For example, in list 5, 5, 6, 8, 8, 8, 9, 11, we can say that 8 is the mode as it appears three times, which is more frequently than any other value.
The answer is A. The number that appears the most frequently in Pure Pump's column is 27, as it appears twice. Now, try these three questions to further test your ability and to find medians and means from a table. For question 4, it's answer B. There are 5 terms in the set for never sweat. Therefore, the middle term will be 5 plus 1 divided by 2, and therefore the third term. Counting from the smallest, which is 23, then the second smallest, which is 33, and now the third smallest, 34, this term is found for town B, and so town B has the medium number of regular users of the never sweat gym brand. So for question 5, the answer is C. Adding 6 towns gives us 178 plus 113 plus 98 plus 256 plus 129 plus 114. This totals up at 888. 888 divided by 6 equals 148. Question 6. The answer is C. Don't forget that you can go from an average to a total very easily simply by multiplying the average by the number of terms in a set. In this question, if there are an average of 103 regular users of the five brands in town F, we can simply calculate 103 times 5 equals 515 total regular users of the five gyms in town F. Now, simply find the total number of regular users of the five gym brands from town E. 67 plus 76 plus 72 plus 27 plus 129 equals 371. Adding these two totals gives 371 plus 515 equals 886. We hope you now feel confident in tackling means, medians and modes, even when they are presented inside a table full of data. Keep practicing and good luck. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.